so I am just getting ready for the day. Um, it's been a bit crazy uh, the last week or so. Um, we've been getting ready to go on a trip. We're going to California. Um, we're going to drive, so it's going to be a road trip, and I'm not sure how that's going to go because my, um, my health gets really bad when in the car, and it's not that I'm motion sick or have car sickness or anything. Um, it's just like really bad overstimulation. Um, like, um, I don't know how to explain this. Most people's brains can, um, like, register everything kind of subconsciously. Like, you already know that that car changed lanes and stuff. You don't actually have to focus on it. But, um, with me, um, after my brain injury, that was hindered. So it's kind of like I ha I still have to process those things. Um, cause I wish I could just turn it off and not have to, because then it would be, make my life easier, but I still process those things like everybody else does, but it takes a lot more effort. I don't know if that makes any sense. And so then the stuff that I want to focus on, like a conversation or, um, what I'm doing or, uh, if I'm doing a game or anything like that, it takes, um, it really drains me because I'm already... I'm already processing stuff and I don't know how else to explain that. Um, I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so normally even with someone else driving, I get sick about at like 45 minutes to an hour mark. Um, and, and what I mean by sick is my, I start having really bad head pain, migraines, stuff like that. And, uh, the head pain can, um, can cause me to be nauseous and dizzy and vertigo and all of that, all the good stuff. And so I don't think I can sleep during entire 16 hour drive. I already have sleeping issues. So I don't think that that's a possibility. I wish it was because maybe I could sleep through it and have less of, um, less issues, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. I will try to sleep as much as I can. So hopefully I can save some spoons and some energy for when we get there to have fun. I really don't know if this is going to turn out to be an, a disaster or not. I mean, honestly, we'll make the best of it no matter what. But I really, really want to have a ton of fun while we're there and do um, a bunch of different things. I mean, I haven't surfed in a long time. I mean, I haven't surfed since before my brain injury, so I'll probably have to learn again just like I did with snowboarding. But... Um, it's something I love to do, so it's willing to. I'm willing to learn it again, and um, you know, and we want to do paddle boarding, and we're gonna go to like four or five different beaches, and I want to collect a, a little bit of sand in a bottle from each beach. My dad's always done that, and I really love that idea. It's really fun, you know. You write on the bottle where it was from and stuff. We're going to go to a black beach, which is very exciting, and a bunch of other beaches. And I'll try and take you guys along as much as possible. Um, I know with my health that um, a lot of people will comment, Hey, how come you don't make longer videos? Or um, stuff like that. And it's really hard for me to do stuff like that because of the fact that of my health. Um, it may seem simple for you guys to pick a pick up a camera and videotape everything and uh, make longer videos and stuff but honestly it's hard enough for me just to do short little clips throughout our day and stuff that he does for me and stuff like that um, it takes up a lot of time for editing and posting and comments and everything it takes up a lot of time so my uh, main goal is to share as much as I can with you guys and there's times where I do longer videos and there's times where I can't and that's just you know what my channel is going to be about is my disability with my service dog and um, sometimes I can't do um, something that pleases everybody but I still hope that you guys enjoy them and that's why I continued to post is um, a lot of people do enjoy them but it's just what I can do come here you can snuggle and so, um, 
yeah, it's just, I, I do my best, and I hope you guys enjoy them. I really love you guys, and all of you guys. You guys have been such a great support, and wonderful family, um, that's what I call it, is, you know, the Colt family, and I feel that you guys are all very wonderful, and I enjoy having you, and enjoy sharing our, our lives, and everything, um, that I can with you guys, whether it's about my disability, or about him, or what he does for me, um, different, different medical equipment, stuff like that, and if you guys have questions, you guys feel free to ask them, um, I love answering questions, and I love, um, you know, if you guys want, you know, like, uh, video recommendations and stuff like that, I do my best to do those. Um, so just know that, that I'm not trying to ignore you guys or anything if I can't reply and stuff because it is pretty busy and, uh, it's a lot of work. But anywho, um, hopefully this trip goes great. We'll be bringing my wheelchair because, um, a lot of people will ask me, um, you're not in your wheelchair or whatever in a video and the thing is is that I'm not wheelchair bound I'm not paralyzed um, I do have right side numbness from my brain injury it's not nerve damage it's just my brain doesn't communicate with my right side correctly and um, ever since my brain injury it just doesn't communicate properly and so I have drop foot on my right side and extreme weakness some days I can't even use my right side most days I can, but I have um, bad weakness in my right side, so there's times where the wheelchair is absolutely necessary because I wouldn't be able to move anywhere without it because my right side was basically paralyzed. But then there's also times where I can use my right side just fine, but it's super weak and I'm a tripping hazard or I have really bad dizziness or um, fainting spells that day or something like that and I need to use it. There's a lot of other times too that it helps me keep energy. Um, like for an example, going to the mall, um, no matter how I'm feeling that day, I normally will always use my wheelchair. And the reason for that is because the mall is a very overstimulating place. Just like I was explaining with driving, um, it's really overstimulating. There's a lot of things to focus on, a lot of things going on. And for my brain anyway with my TBI it makes it very very hard to um, uh, process everything and all of that and so I get drained and my body you know it gets affected by that so my brain affects my body and uh, so no matter what I'll always use my wheelchair and that way I'm not sick for the next three days after I go I actually saved energy and I could do other things and enjoy you know it's you kind of have to adapt there's certain things that you need to know and certain things you need to do or you're gonna be miserable or something's gonna happen so it's you know everybody's different everybody has their ups and their downs and everybody's medical conditions are different and um, everybody uses different tools and stuff like that and and that's okay that's that's life but whatever makes their life livable and so um, there's no reason to judge anybody based off of they get out of a wheelchair they don't get out of a wheelchair you know everybody's just trying to live their lives and so sometimes I'm on wheels sometimes I'm on feet and that's that's okay because that's just what I gotta do and so um, Colt's really tired um, we've been he's been working hard helping me get ready for this trip and uh, part of that too is that this is summertime and it's been getting really hot like 90s um, and so when it's that hot it can affect my health and so I go swimming a lot I am a big swimmer I don't know if um, any of you really know that um, I trained for the Coast Guard for three years um, that was my dream I love swimming and I feel like I was born to swim. I am originally from California. That's why we're going back. So is Garrett. Garrett is originally from California. So we're going to go see his mom and um, visit the beaches and all that kind of stuff. So we're both originally from California. I was a fish. I was always out in the waves. And, um, you know, my brain injury actually happened on the water. I had a boating accident. And so... You know, water is a big part of my life, and now it's it's harder to swim. I'm not gonna lie; it's very hard to, um, you know. I trust Colt completely that he will always, you know, be there for me while we're swimming and stuff. Like, and <laughs> come here, come snuggle. 
And so um, I know that he will always be there for me while I'm swimming, and that's the only way that I can swim. If I didn't have him, I wouldn't be able to safely be in the water. Um, if you have a seizure in the water, you can drown. So a lot of people, you know, know that, and some people don't. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, and same with pass out spells. So having Colt is very, is very um, freeing for me. He has helped me in so many different ways. But during the warm weather, sorry, I keep getting off topic. During the warm weather, I um, my health can get affected more, so I swim a lot more. I try to swim every day, but, I mean, there's a lot of times I just don't have the energy. So it all just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but I'll, uh, you know, go swimming, cool down, and stuff like that. And he's been working a lot because he's had to alert a lot while I'm in the pool. Some of it is when I ask for help because I'm either having spasms or pain or weakness that I'm not able to keep myself above the water that well and he'll rescue swim me out so that I can um you know take a break or just stay out of the water because I'm like done like I hit my limit because sometimes I don't know where my limit is sometimes I push myself way past my limit and so you know he's there and he's always there and he helps me and then there's times where he alerts and I've um, he's been trained to when he needs to alert to get me out because it, it doesn't matter since, uh, you know, when he alerts, I have a big chunk of time before it even happens, whether it's a pass out spell or a seizure. Um, but safety first when in water, because it could be really dangerous if I either misjudged his alert or he was distracted and it was a shorter alert or something like that. I could be like, oh, well, I'm good. I have at least 30 minutes and then have an issue in the pool. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So um, he always rescue swims me out immediately and I can be out of the water in a safe place to, um, you know, first I'll take my medication and hopefully not even have a seizure, um, but be in a safe place for the um, seizure or the paso spell, depending on whatever it is. So he's been working really hard because he's had to do that, at, uh, you know, a bunch of times and, uh, not, not like a lot, but you know, like enough that he's been working really hard and, and just uh, helping me, um, doing everything that I need to do has been, you know, just tiring. We're, we're just tired. And, you know, I am so proud of Garrett and I love him so much. He works 12 hours a day, every day. Like, he does not take days off because he provides for our family. I mean, I work, but I can't work that much at all. So, I don't I don't make the money. He's the breadwinner in the family. And um, he is amazing. He deserves this vacation. This vacation is for him. I'm super stoked and super excited. And, of course, I'm going to have fun, too. But this vacation is honestly for him. He is an amazing man. And uh, he has always been there for me. Whew, don't make me cry. He's always been there for me through everything. And honestly, I only was with him for a few months before this even happened. Before I had my um, severe traumatic brain injury. I was only with him for a few months before that. And then all of a sudden, he's bathing me and carrying me from the bed to the bathroom. And he is an amazing man. I have definitely met the love of my life. And... I am so excited to continue our life together. We're going to celebrate our five-year anniversary while we're on our trip. That's exciting. And I get to meet his mom for the first time. Um, there's just been a lot of stuff that has prevented that from happening. It's not um, that I didn't want to meet her. <laughs> it's definitely I have wanted to meet her. Um, and honestly, the we haven't been, neither one of us have been back to California in the last, like, six years or so. So... This will be really nice, and uh, I'm very proud of Garrett, and I'm so thankful for him. And we are going to have a blast, and he's um, he's at work again right now. So, um, it's, I mean, most of the getting ready for the trip has fallen on my shoulders just because of the fact that he works so much. Um, but that's okay, because I can do what I can do, and there's certain things that I can't. Like, he's doing all the car stuff, fixing all the cars and all of that, getting ready to go. So it just, um, we're just all so tired <laughs> and we're ready to go and have fun. And hopefully that the, maybe adrenaline will take over and I won't feel it till the end of the trip maybe. And then I'll crash. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but I am gonna 
live every day to the fullest and I am going to have so much fun and, you know, pray that the Lord lets me have fun and not fall apart during this trip. And I'm really thankful for you guys and all you guys do and I'm glad that you're able to watch us and, um, you know, a lot of people will mention that they, um, they're like, why can't you make longer videos? Why do you always post such short videos? And you know, honestly, it's because of my health, um, I just try to keep you updated on our life as much as possible. And sometimes that's only a 30 second clip and that, and that's just, um, because I don't have the time or the energy to be able to, um, edit and all the stuff that it takes. There's a lot of effort that goes into it. And I don't know if people even realize how much goes into keeping, um, channels open for, you know, um, people watching you and, and stuff like that. It's actually quite hard. And so, um, we do the best we can. We do what we can while we can. And so I will just do the best I can. And I hope that that's enough for you guys. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, my arm is like about to fall off, so I gotta go, but I need to get up and get stuff done for the day. So, we will see you soon, and I will try and take you along the trip with us, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and you guys are awesome, so thank you for all you do. I'll talk to you later.